Heather Boyd Wire here, Wire Lady TV, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time ish. We're a couple minutes after 1 o'clock, and I'm just getting set up for the live stream. So if you're hopping on, uh, say hello in the comments. I'm just going to pull the video up on my computer so I can see your comments, and, uh, and then we'll get started. And I'm going to work on an older design today. Uh, hi Mustafa, hi Peggy, how you guys doing? And oh my, my thumbnail's crooked for some reason, that's funny, because I, I had to rotate my screen, but it's all good. So hi Ashita, hi Vanessa, I'm just going to pull this open here so I can see. And Janelle and Clarice, awesome, everybody, and Denise, everybody's hopping on, that's fantastic. So I'm just going to... As always, I'm just going to pin a comment to the top just to keep everybody on track uh, with the live stream. So um, if you have any questions about jewelry making, wire art and all that, I welcome them in the comments. And we're just going to keep on track with the projects in hand. And uh, yeah, let me know where you're, where you are watching from. Let me have a look. And Jackie's here. Paula. Just seen, okay. Oh, Sean, sorry, seen, I read that wrong. It's Sean from Mobile, Alabama. How cool is that? And Ruth, wow, Ruth, haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Fantastic. So guys, I'm gonna show you a few things. I was chatting with Mustafa and um, Mustafa was, uh, I was telling him about my hand painted buttons that I used to do when I first moved to Montreal in the 80s. Vanessa's in Lebanon, cool, and Roberta in Washington, fantastic, cool. So I thought I'd show you guys a few. These are the, Mustafa, these are the hand-painted buttons that I used to do. Uh, these are actually, my friend made these ones. Uh, my friend um, Susanna and I used to make these together, and when I first moved to Montreal, I was selling these on the street. So I was making like hand-painted button, and these are like, old, I used to work in a tie factory designing neckties. So this is fabric from the necktie uh, fa uh, factory. And I used to just, uh, you know, those uh, promotional buttons. So you re you could remove the back and put your own fabric on it. So that was really fun. Uh, so I did a bunch of those and then I did some actual buttons where you could sew them on clothes. And these are really cute little buttons with kitty cats with the prints on them. So I might have shown these in a live stream before. I can't really remember. But then also, this is actually painted. Uh, I painted, um, you know those, the paintings that you do, you slop pa uh, paint on a paper and you fold it and it does that kind of ink blot design. So I did a bunch with the kids at the school one time uh, in an art program and uh, then we just covered buttons with them so that was really cool yeah you could definitely wire wrap them that would be cool and then the other thing I did was um I just glued, took pictures out of magazines and glued them on wooden pieces and did like little collages to make earrings and pins and I did all kinds of funky stuff when I first started and this is like on a wooden background and then like a little pendant so so this is, before I even started wire art and jewelry, this is what I was making and selling on the street, which was kind of cool. And uh, and then I kind of gradually uh, went into the wire and I'll show you some of the things that I have. So like when I first started, they're really cool, eh? They're super fun. Yeah, no, I'm really, uh, I'm glad I kept all that old stuff because it's a real uh, slice of my memories from, from the uh, early 90s in uh, Montreal. So this is, um, and when I started doing the wire, so that was in 1990, uh, when I first started, I was doing a lot of wholesale to stores and stuff. And so I have some of my old catalogs from back in the day. So uh, it was amazing. Well, I've always been making stuff, that's for sure. And so this is um, an old catalog from 1993 with some of my old designs and stuff. So I used to call my company Filament and it was actually a trademarked uh, a company name, a brand name. And then uh, over the years, I decided to let go of that brand name and I just go under my own name now, so which is really fun. So I had old catalogs that I used to photocopy, uh, which were really super funky. I kept all this old stuff. And then the, the one I wanted to work on today, because I have all these, like this one is an old one. I posted a picture of this one before with all the zodiac signs. And then the one I want to, this is another catalog, but what I wanted to work on today was this one with the dragon. 
thought it would be fun to work on that because we, I had done a few other dragons before, so I thought it would be really fun to work on that one. So that's what I'm going to work on today is a dragon, and I thought I've seen some little dragon rings before. I think I might try to put my own spin on that as well and see what happens. So let's flip the screen, and oh, hey Joan, how are you? If I'm missing your name in the comments, uh, be sure to comment it again. If I miss you, I'll try to scroll back in the comments and see. So here's my tools. It's easier for me to see now that I've flipped the screen to see what's going on in the comments. And yeah, you guys are just introducing yourselves and stuff. That's awesome. So here's my tools. I always like to have a round form on hand as well. And then I, today I'm gonna work with, uh, I have the 18 gauge wire and I have some 20 gauge wire. And I think I need a pretty big piece for the dragon. Uh, so I hopefully have enough. I also have some of the, the non-tarnished brass wire which is good stuff. And then I'll just bring the picture over so we can see what we're working with here. And uh, yeah, so this is the, yeah, let me just bring this one over so we can have something to work by. And I'll just go ahead and work on the, on the dragon here. So there we go, so perfect. So this is the dragon here. It's got like sort of little loop-de-loops on it. And we'll just try to figure it out as we go because I haven't, I probably haven't made this one then in about 30 years. It's a starry night here. Yeah, we had a full moon the other day. So, um, so I missed it, unfortunately. I, I wanted to go out and take some pictures, but I missed it. So maybe, do I want to use this wire? Like it takes a lot of wire for this dragon. So I think I'm going to maybe use a smaller, maybe the 20 gauge wire. I'm going to see what I have for this. Hopefully this is going to be long enough. We're going to, we're going to see. You're making along with you. Awesome. That's fantastic. How are you? I'm good. Thanks, Joan. So there we go. So many of your designs I want to make. Yes. Yeah. No, there's a lot. Uh, there's certainly a lot on YouTube of uh, tutorials and different designs now. So you guys have a lot to work with. So now this one, I'm wondering if it's going to be long enough. I might get another wire. Let me just see. I could always add wire to do to it. I think I'm gonna not use a too big wire to start because otherwise it's gonna get like in the way and stuff. So I'm just gonna start with this one. I would say this is about two feet of wire and full moon last night, nice. So let's go ahead and I think what I'm gonna do is just start with the with the face there. I think it's probably going to be the easiest way to go. Oh, it's so funny. I made this so long ago. I don't even remember how I made it. So we'll just we'll just play around with it and see. So let's go ahead and just start by sometimes I like to just start with the eye. Sometimes it's just easier to start with the eye and uh, and then go from there. So at about the the halfway point, I'm just going to I'm not sure if this is the way I want to go with it, but I'm just going to try it. So we're just going to start with the eye, bend it down, bend it out. I guess this will be a pendant because it's going to be uh, not small enough for a ring for sure. For the ring, I probably would just do the, um, I would probably just do the head because I think, although you could do a full dragon and wrap it around the finger, that might be interesting too. I'll have to see. Okay, we had a pink moon. Yes, yes. Uh, when the when the moon is full like that, it's often uh, a pink when it comes up. And uh, I missed it, but next month we're gonna go out and maybe take some pictures and stuff for sure. So here is the starting of the dragon. Oh, I have to keep my hands in place here. I'm gonna back up a little bit so my hands don't go off the screen. It's a little bit dark today, so bear with me with the. Um, with the darkness, it's a gray day today. Not raining, but it's a little bit gray. So now what we wanna do is do a kind of a nose thing. So if we bring this one up, I'm just literally following the design that I did. So we wanna make a bit more of a pointy nose. And then I'm just going to bend this one back. And I have a feeling I might run out of wire, but we're gonna see what we can do. Got a good pick, nice. Wow, that's awesome. So let's just do it like this. And around here, yeah, I, my next short video is gonna be a one minute uh, moon ring video because the 
it's uh, the moon ring uh, tutorial that I did a little while back. It's it's been really popular. I think people really like moons, so I'll, I'm going to try to do a one minute version of that video. So that's coming up soon. I'm really having fun with those short videos. They're super fun. And somebody asked me to, I forget who it was, somebody asked me to slow down the video, but if you guys don't already know, you can actually slow down this, the playback speed of videos in um, in the settings. So you can, you can do that. Now in this one, I did circles under the mouth, but I think it distracts from the design. So I might just not do it there. I might just leave it so there's no circles under the mouth there. And I might just start doing some circles over here. Oh, you know what I want to do first, though, is like a little, like kind of that weird chin thing. So that's what I'm going to do there. Do that little kind of chin thing. See how that goes. And then I'm going to start. I hope this is going to work. I It looks like I did like a little back and forth little squiggle thing with the with the circles. So let me try that. Uh, da, 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 da. And this should, I should have maybe bent that one to the back, but that's okay. So with my longer wire, I'm going to just take this and do a back and forth thing. So I'm just gonna go here. And this is a total experiment. I usually speed up playbacks two times. Yes, definitely a good idea. You can speed them up if the video is too slow. Uh, Peggy Loves Moons and uh, Jaden, same, yeah, yeah, for sure. So let's go ahead and do the little squiggle kind of loopy thing. So what I what I want to do with this is just do a loop and a loop. And like I said, I haven't done this in a long time, but from the picture, it looks like this is what I did. So I did a loop and a loop, and then I just went back and forth. But I'm going to flip it over so they always go in the same direction. And they're almost like little infinity signs or something. And all this does, it gives it a little bit of texture without having to do wire weaving. Because I know there's a lot of people uh, in this community and in the, in the wire makers club that do wire weaving. But wire weaving is not really my thing. So I'm, I'm always trying to find ways to get texture and details without actually having to weave the wire. So this is one way to do it. Just by going back and forth with this, do you draw the designs yourself? Yes, all the designs that I make are, um, I usually draw them out first. Uh, sometimes I, um, I will just go for it and do it in wire without even drawing it because sometimes it's actually easier to do it in wire than to draw it. So it just depends, but they're all, yeah, they're all my own designs and uh, they're since like 30 years <laughs> I've been making them. So some of these are classics that I continue to do over and over. And then other times I just kind of uh, morph them into other ideas. And sometimes a lot of times people will ask me for certain things like a certain animal or a certain, you know, type of design. And so I could develop new designs based on those as well, which is really fun. Um, so I want to paint a dragon. Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having a lot of fun these days on my art channel doing paintings and stuff. I don't know if you guys saw, but, uh, I did a, a design for a, uh, goddess that was my sister's idea. So my sister and I do a zoom art night every Tuesday night with my friend Patricia. And she had this amazing idea to make a goddess with, uh, with, uh, paint. I'll just quickly show it to you. So it's a watercolor background and the goddess is you just put glue and then you spray sand on it and then shake it off and you have this beautiful shape of the goddess. So that was really fun. I'll, um, that's on the, the Heather Boyd art channel. So if every, if any of you guys like to paint, uh, we've got some fun things going on there. So I think I'm just going to keep going with this for now. And then I have to decide where I want my legs and my arms. I like this kind of design. It reminds me of a Chinese dragon uh, with these little loop-de-loops. So uh, I'll just keep going for a little bit more. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to do the legs. Because I think in the original design, I used the same wire to do the legs. But I think I'm going to use this other wire to make the legs. So really pretty. Oh, thank you. There we go. So let's go around here. And now 
Let's go ahead and see if we can do the legs somehow. So I'm just going to uh, put this one here, put this one behind. We'll put that one behind. Or do I want to go right to left? Maybe I want to go, I kind of like it pointing that way. I don't know why it's, I'm stuck on that direction. So we're going to go here and then wherever you want the arms. So maybe around here, I don't want them too high to the end. I'm just going to take this wire and wind it around. So if I go here and wind it around to the back and around here, so that'll secure it in place. It's a little funky, but that's okay. And then I wanna form some legs with this one. So we're gonna take this one, bend it down, this is a little bit similar to one that I've made before that is more like a, uh, a gecko type of thing, but that's, that's okay. We're gonna use the same idea with this. So there's the arm. And then what we wanna do is, I think I'm gonna start on this side first. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to do like the claw type of thing. So we're gonna go here from Oshawa. Oh, that's near Toronto. Crafty Kill, that's so cool. I miss going to Toronto. I haven't been in over a year, but I often go to Toronto uh, to see my my brother who lives in the beaches, which is really a uh, funky area, Queen Street West. So uh, yeah, I lived in Toronto for a year uh, when I first graduated from uh, art school and uh, Toronto's fun. I mean, it's a big city, but uh, it's really fun. So guys, what I'm doing now is I'm just bending these and uh, there we go. So Connie, yeah, well, I'm wondering why we're making dragons today. Well, trying to make a dragon. This is based on an older design from the 90s and I'm just trying to replicate what I had done and try to remember exactly how I did it. So now I'm doing the little, the little claws, okay, and we're just gonna get in here and do all these. Looks like I did like three claws and then a little back claw thing. So I really hope I don't run out of wire, but if I do, no biggie, I'll just um, I'll just get some more wire and attach it. And we're gonna bring this one back. So here's, it's coming along pretty good. So there's the first claw. We're gonna bring that one up. And then it looks like, just from the picture, it looks like I brought it up and then I just did a little back claw here. So I don't, I don't know, I've never seen a dragon, so I don't know exactly if that's how it works, but I'm just gonna do like a little back claw thing for details. Okay, visit in Montreal, love it. Yeah, Montreal's the best. Honestly, I've lived here for 30 years and I would never wanna live anywhere else. There's so much culture and art and so many really amazing things here. So here's, one claw, it looks kind of cool, I like it. And so now to do the other side, what I'll do is maybe I'll wind it around again so it could be secured in place. So I'm gonna just bring it in there, wind it around again to the back, around, around there. It's pretty forgiving this design because this stuff kind of covers it up a lot. So I've just brought it back to here and now I wanna do another claw arm on this side. I don't know how accurate it is, but I'm basically just following the design that I did before. So we're gonna go up. So we'll go up again and maybe I'll work backwards on this one. So we're gonna go down here and then I'll just go ahead and do sort of the mirror image of what I previously did. And I can always adjust the position after. So I'll do the little back claw first and bring it to the front. Okay, we're gonna bring that one to the front. Okay, and chacun de tu name. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello from Ecuador again. Nice, nice. That's awesome. What time is it in Ecuador? You might be around the same time as us. I guess you're just south, and I don't know if you're east or west. So there we go. Uh, so there's the back claw, and then now we want to form uh, the other claws here. So we're going to go around here, bring that one around and just measure it somewhat. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna bend this one to the front here. And then I'm just gonna keep going with this to form the rest. I'm happy to be trying this one because I haven't tried this one in so long. Uh, I'm, it might've been the sort of thing that I made one 
and never made it again. That's possible too, because just because it was in my catalog didn't mean that I actually reproduced it. So this one, I think the claw, I made the claw a little small now. I can see already I made it a little too small because my mirror image wasn't that well um, figured out, but it's okay. These The claws will be slightly different sizes, but that's fine. So good. And I think I'm even bending them not the right ways, but it's fine. It's actually, actually things look better when they're like not perfect, perfect. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. So now we're going to do the last claw here, 12, 27. Okay. Rainy day. So you're only an hour, um, earlier than us. So hi, Keith. How are you? Hey, yo. Yeah. How you doing? We're doing good here. We're making wire dragons. Having fun with it. So uh, now I see already I'm running out of wires. So I'm going to have to deal with that. I'm going to have to add some more wire or something. And this one's really like crinkly. So that's okay. We're just going to fix it up a bit. So now, uh, oh, I did this wrong. That's why, look, I push, I put them the wrong way. Yeah, see my depth procession isn't very good. I did this the wrong way. So I'm going to try to carefully flip it without breaking the wire. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, I did this wrong. So that happens. Something's really wrong here. Anyways, it's so, yeah, this should have been underneath, that's why. Oh my goodness, I really did it. I really messed up with this one because uh, I was trying to do it in mirror image and it didn't quite work. So what I really should have done is, let me bring this back. So I'm gonna bring this one in. I should have put that one to the to the inside. That's what happens when I when I'm a little bit distracted. No, that's not right either. Oh my goodness, what's happening? No, I think that's right. Let me look at that. Those go to the outside. I really don't know what I'm doing here now. So if the hands are, yeah. Whew. Okay. We're gonna see. We're just gonna play around with this. You know what? I'm just not gonna worry about it, whether it's proportionally and you know. Uh, accurate or whatever I'm just gonna go for it and uh, if it's not accurate it's totally fine I just I'm messing up with my with my directions that's the problem because I don't have the correct directions for these but it's fine we're just gonna do it like that <laughs> uh, watch the rest later I have classes to attend okay well thanks for hopping on hi Viviana how are you so let's go ahead and bring this one in yeah, see, I'm really, I'm seeing that I have a lot of issues with this proportionally and design-wise, but I'm just going to keep with it. And what I probably should have done is just paid a little more attention to the to the sample, but that's okay. So we're just going to bring that one in, bend that one, and then just finish it up. Yeah, this 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 claw definitely has issues, but it's fine. We won't worry too much about it. So now I'm going to just take that, and because... Uh, we're running out of wire. What I might do is bring it down to where the next, where the next, um, uh, how do you say, the next legs will be, and I'll just add another wire. So I'm going to bring this one down here. I'm going to keep going with these a little bit, and then we're going to see. So let's go ahead and just do our zigzags a little bit more. At least hopefully we won't run out of wire on this side, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, the, the direction of the claws got a little bit messed up, but that's fine. It's totally, it's totally fine. So now I'm just keeping going. These look like little ribbons or something. And then I'll just decide where I want the next legs to be, probably around here. And then I'm just going to take this wire and just end it. I'm just going to bend it in there and end it just to have somewhere to finish it. And then I'll get another... I'll get another wire. So let me, there's a little piece here. This should be just barely enough. So we're going to put this one on here and I'll just go ahead and attach it right in here. And hopefully it's going to work out fine. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to have an issue with uh, amounts of wire. Like this, this design probably takes at least three to four feet of wire just because of the nature of all this stuff. And so now I've attached a wire and we'll go ahead and do the legs again. So I'm just going to replicate what I have there and, um, and that should be fine. So now it's wiggling around a bit, but once I bring the wire back, it won't be so wiggly. So we're just going to start here. I'll just exactly kind of copy what I had going before. 
Although I'm not sure. I think I'd rather copy that one. That was that one was better made than the other one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and copy that one. We're going to bring that one down. And then we're going to just do the claw here. So we're going to go around here. And let me know in the comments what you guys are working on these days. Like what, what wire art and jewelry projects are you, are you working on? So I know everybody has different styles of what they like to do. And uh, I'm really curious to see what everybody... Everybody likes to do. I know some people are weavers. Some people are are um, just like to do the wire wrapping. There's all kinds of, uh, you know, different styles that you can do with the wire, which is really cool. So we're going to bring this one in here. I'm going to bring this one up again. And we'll just do our little claws. And then we'll go back and do the other claw. I, sh I should have almost maybe started this cloth or the f uh, foot first and then gone back but that's fine so we're going to bring this there's the back claw we're just going to do the back claw there and then we're going to bend this one underneath and then bend it back so there we go so it's flipping around a little bit but this is the idea so we have that and then you want to squish them in a little bit more this one may be elongated a little bit more so there's like the other foot it looks a little bit large now, but you know what? It's totally fine. I'm really not going to worry too much about this. I'm going to design something today to celebrate seven months of playing with wire. Wow, that's amazing. I can't believe you've only been doing wire for seven months, Joan. That's, I mean, you're very prolific and you definitely are not afraid to try new things and, and experiment. And I think it's, I think it's great. It's really, uh, it's really incredible, but incredible to imagine you've only been doing it for seven months so here's that leg now we need to attach this one so this one I'm just going to attach it anywhere in here the idea is you don't want it to like wiggle around so I'm just going to attach it try to get it in there and then that way it won't even if we attach it in two places it has less likelihood to wiggle so there I just bent it back in there I'm going to give it a little clip I have another angel to make. Oh, nice. And a patriotic memory wire bracelet. Yeah, your angel was stunning, Connie. I just loved it. There we go. Your Wi-Fi died. No worries. You're back. Yay. Yeah, that can happen. That can. Uh, I, I used to have a lot of problems with my Wi-Fi when I live streamed in the basement. That's why I live stream upstairs now because the Wi-Fi in the basement is not very good. Okay, so now let's do this one. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm just looking at my sample. I'm going to replicate this one here, like the same direction. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but it's it's going to be easier for me just to copy one that's already done. So let's just go here. This will be the back claw. And should we bend it to the front? We can bend it to the front. Okay, so now I'm going to bend this one here. Mustafa, are you working on a on a dragon? You said you were working at the same time. Let me know what you're working on. I love this to keep challenging myself. I'm so happy. Uh, Jackie says, I'm working on butterflies and hearts. Fabulous. Love that. Yeah, butterflies are beautiful too. Yeah, it's uh, and hearts. I mean, I do, I do a lot of things with hearts. They're really, it's just a lovely, a lovely, lovely symbol. So now let's go ahead and keep going with these little back claws here. <laughs> the legs are getting really big, but it's fine. It's totally fine. And I might have to add some more wire because I think that uh, we might run out, but that's fine. So we're going to go down here and keep going with these claws. They're definitely not identical to the previous claws, but that's fine. The advantage is that I of that is after I'm done, I can look at them all, all four legs, and decide which one is my favorite. So if I make it again, I'll have a good idea of um, of what I want to do. So there we go. So we've got these ones. I like the little pointy, pointy claws. And if you guys do want to make dragons, I do have a couple tutorials up that show like how to make these little pointy, pointy legs and stuff too. Oh my goodness, I completely messed up again. Wow, it's going from bad to worse, guys. I don't know what's the matter with me today. Okay, let's bring these over here. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, what am I going to do now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really not working 
working out in my favor today. I've completely messed up my direction. Yeah, I think I think my mind is not quite working today. So let's flip this to the other side. Maybe. I'm just a little bit worried my wire is gonna snap now. If it does, I'll just go ahead and uh, and get another wire. I wasn't even paying attention. It's like trying to, to walk and talk at the same time, or something like that. Or rubbing, it's like rubbing your stomach and patting your head. Uh, me trying to talk and look at comments and work at the same time. There, did I recoup it? I think it's not too bad. <laughs> Twist his ankle 180 degrees. So I think we're I think we're good here. I just made a simple dragonfly for my sister. I will pick up more guitar strings today. Fantastic. Oh, that's uh will be giving me a guitar to paint to raise money for a kids' charity. How cool is that? Oh my goodness, that's brilliant. I love that idea. What a great idea. Oh, you'll definitely have to share a picture of that when it's done. That is so awesome. A great idea for a fundraiser. I love that. Yeah, very fun. So now we're going to bring this one in here. I think I recouped it enough. It's even if it's not perfect, it's fine. So so there we go. So now we have legs, and I'm just gonna have to attach this this piece here. And maybe I'll have enough to bring it in towards the end. Um I'm gonna bring it underneath because I'm getting a lot of twisties in there. I don't know if I want to twist any more in there. So what I might actually do is just bring it back here and twist it maybe on this one instead because otherwise I'm going to have too many twists in the same place. So we're going to bring it here. I'm going to keep doing some more little twisties on this thing and then get towards the tail. So there we go. Heather, man, my dragon has to have plastic surgery. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, there's something about this design that is very confusing. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but uh, sometimes it's very challenging to get designs that are a little bit symmetrical, or if you're trying to get them like perfect or whatever, it's, sometimes we overthink things and then they just end up... Uh, uh, having a few a few issues, but uh, it's all good. I really just wanted to work out the the, the idea for this twi uh, crisscross design here. It's like they're like little letter eights, you know. What 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 can we call this? I'm trying to think of terms for calling some of the techniques that I use for the making jewelry. So this this is almost like a an infinity infinity wrap or or a figure eight wrap, maybe a figure eight wrap or something like that. We'll we'll have to think of a name that we can call this this kind of wrap. He's still cute. Yeah. So Mustafa, if you make, if you put a picture in discord, I'll check after the live stream. Uh, I don't have my iPad running today, so I'll, uh, I'll definitely, and anybody else who, if you want to see pictures or continue the discussion after the live stream on discord, you can go into the post live stream section and we usually have a little chat after the live stream. Mustafa, maybe you could put the link to, to discord as well. That would be awesome. So yeah, so this is what we have so far. I'm not quite sure how long to make the make the tail. Last time I didn't make it super long for the sample. Like you see the sample, I did I did the tail and then I did these little things hanging down. So I might still do something like that. But I think maybe what I'll try to do is just gradually make these a little smaller. That might be an idea just to kind of like work my way up and make them a little bit smaller as I get towards the end. I'm actually going to run out of wires, so it's fine. I'm just going to go up, try to make these loops a little bit smaller. Just do a few more. Probably if my wire was longer, I would have done it a little bit longer, but that's okay. So we're just going to go up here. Yeah, see, if you want them really tight, you just pull this wire a little bit more. and. Can I like the idea of this being a little bit longer and then you can do like a little curve thing. I like, I'm liking the way it looks. I hope I don't run out of wire again, but that's okay. We can add some more after. So I'm just going to keep going a little bit more and then you get the idea. If you do want to make it longer, you can definitely make it longer. So we're just going to go around here. And then if we, and you could even maybe dangle some beads or something on there. That would be super cute. So that's kind of fun like that. Let me see if this is long enough 
at least to attach at the top because at, at least that way it would make it a little bit more secure. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just use this end to attach at the top and then that way it will be a little bit more secure. So we're going to bring this one around here. I'm just going to take that and curve it around and it just holds that in place so it won't like stretch out of place. And then I'm going to get this one. Yes, perfect. Thank you, Mustafa, for that. That's fantastic. Maybe end with a few single circles. Yes, that would be a good idea too, just to have like a few circles at the end. That's a good idea as well. But because my wire is so short, I'm just going to finish it here. Uh, it's attached in place. So yeah, you can definitely like finish it any way, any which way you want. I like that this curves like that. I think it's super cool. And then what I would do would be, you know, you'd want to do a loop for your, for your hanging it on a pendant or something. So actually I'm going to bend it this way and just do maybe even a little double bail like that. And then I think I'm going to experiment with adding wire to make like little dangling things or something. So we're, we'll see how that goes. And we're going to go around here and bend that. So yeah, you see I'm really tight for wire here. And otherwise I might have taken this and like add, done a little bit of detail with it. Like add like a little spiral. I mean, you could still do like, it's going to be really tight though. You can still do like a little spiral or something. Say just to show you guys, if you did want to do a spiral, you can just take this if the wire was longer. But I will add another wire to see. So you can just... You could do a little spiral on there if you wanted to. Okay, he's looking awesome still. Thank you. Yeah, so you could add like a little spiral. This wire is really short though, so I'm just going to clip that one off for now. And then, yeah, it's kind of funky, although now I'm not sure I want him to hang upside down like that or not. That's the other thing. I mean, that's how I the original one was hanging like that, so I think I'll just keep going with that for now. I really like the idea of this being curved. I think it's very cool. So we're going to bring this one out here, curve it a little bit. So you can definitely like exaggerate the curl. I mean, you could hang him that way too, but then he doesn't look quite right either. So if we do that, I'm just going to see what else I have for wire. Most I have 20. I have a little bit of 20 left too. I could add some little danglings. I'm going to just see what I did with the other one. I really wish I had 22 gauge wire. That's the problem. I don't have all the, the gauges of wire that I need, but see, maybe we can add something with 24. 24 is a little thin, but let's just see. Definitely a uh, sweet crest is definitely awesome. Yay. Just got here. We'll have to go back and watch later. Awesome. Yeah. You could definitely watch the replay and uh, you can even watch the replay on fast speed for sure. So like, say I was going to try to replicate those little spiral things I had. So why don't I do that? Just because why don't we just stick with the whole idea of replicating that design? So I'm going to do this with a thinner wire. Normally, maybe I would have done 22, but that's okay. We're just going to do like this. And if I don't like it, I might just skip it so but I I really like the idea of doing some little spirals things but let me try let me just try what I did there so what I can do is just take this bend it back I'm gonna do a few just to see how it goes it's gonna look like hair but that's fine so we're gonna go around here bend it around again bend it around down here I'll just do a few, and then if I don't like it, I can always take it off, right? It's not, it's really not a big deal. So we're gonna bring this one here, and okay, bring that one around here, and another one around here, and I could even try to make spirals with these double wires. That wouldn't be a bad idea either. So we're gonna say, uh, so Mel Maria just loves this. Thank you. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Maybe they end the tail with a spade shape. Ooh, I like that idea. Yeah, that's right. Tails usually have a little arrow kind of thing on them, don't they? I forgot about that. Yeah, that would be a good idea. That would be a really good idea. So now I have like these little lines. So this is just 24 gauge wire, but because I've doubled it up, it looks a little thicker. So I'm wondering, I'm just curious if I can make a spiral with that because 
what I did was th with this or old one, obviously, was I just like crinkled it back and forth, but it kind of looks like hair, which is a little bit odd. So let's just try to make a spiral with that and see if it's going to work. And if it doesn't work, we'll take it off. So now we're going to take this and wind it around. Just wind it around here. Now making a spiral with a double wire is going to be tricky because usually I would hold it flat and it would work, uh, it would work really well. But because I don't, um, I can't hold it flat with the pliers or it's going to squish it. But isn't that interesting? That's kind of cool. So now, because it's only 24 gauge, I should be able to twist it around. Wow, guys. Okay, that's a first. I've never made a spiral with a double wire, a double 24 gauge wire, but I'm loving it. It's very cool. So let's just keep trying with that. I made my infinity symbol smaller as I went to the tail. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You really want to get smaller as you get towards the tail. So, so I think that's going to be the key to making it look nicely tapered. So yeah, I can't wait to see your your picture, Mustafa, I will definitely hop in and check that right after the live stream. So let's keep going with these just because I kind of like that innovation uh, for the spiral and it's a good solution. There's two reasons that's good. One is if you have a thin wire, it holds its shape. And the other is you can go back and forth with the same wire and, um, and not have to clip your wire to have separate pieces for the spiral. So that's very, very interesting. So we're going to do this one and let's do another one. Maybe I could even go another direction. Let's try the other direction too. And even if it looks kind of funky, I think it's just an interesting experiment in what you can do with the wire. And that's really the purpose of these live streams is just to play around, see what works, see what doesn't work. And, um, I feel like I'm sort of like this guinea pig that's just trying these things. And then you guys don't have to waste so much time <laughs> trying things if, it, if, if they're not going to work at all. Although often you can just come up with solutions if you try it and come up with your own solutions to how to make it work. So this one got a little weird because the, the, the wires weren't lined up as much, but it's another effect. It's like a little more kind of shadowy effect to the to the spirals like they're not completely lined up but they're not terrible either so that's pretty good so I kind of like that it's interesting and I think I'll stick with three because three is an uneven number and it's always good to have a nice uneven number so that just gives a little interesting accent to the tail and Rose says Heather, do you have weekly lives? Yes, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, we do live streams. And then coming up soon, I'm going to be having another Let's Get Wired live stream. I might, it might be this Sunday. I have to check my schedule. And the Let's Get Wired live streams are really interesting because we all work on the same project at the same time. And then when you share pictures in Discord, I share them on the live so you guys can see what each other are working on. Um, as we go. So that's super interesting. So there's the dragon. Whoa, there he goes. Not too bad. So there, it turned out pretty well, almost exactly like the, like the picture here. So they're, they're pretty close, eh? No, I'm pretty happy with those. And, um, let's try to do maybe a little ring now. Let's just see what time it is though. Uh, yeah, we're pretty good. Let's try a quickie little ring and see. I like it uneven. Yeah, yeah, the uneven one is kind of cool, eh? The spiral, it, it just gives it a little bit of interest. So let's see what we could do about a ring. So if we do a ring, we can maybe try with the 18-gauge uh, wire. This might be a little thick, but I'm running out of 20, although I could use the, you know what, I could use the brass. Maybe I'll use the brass. Gotta go teach class. Thanks for coming, Connie. Say hi to your students for us. That's awesome. And let me know uh, what you guys are working on in the class. That's fantastic. So there we go. Let's get a piece of this wire. Whoa, there's gets uh, unwound there. So I'm going to cut about maybe, I don't want to cut it too long, maybe about two feet. 
Oh, it's it's spinning off the off the. Uh, this is the uh, tarnish resistant brass, and it's a great wire. I like it because it's a little stiffer, and you can tell it's stiffer because it spins right off the right off the spool. So what I'm going to do is just bring this around. I always have to put it back in here, or it's going to spring back, and then I'll keep that at the side there. I'm just going to grab a sip of water. Okay, so now. Let's see what we can do for like a little ring or something. So we've got dragon. Let's do the head, but I also like this. I don't know how that's going to work as a ring, but let's try it. We never know until we try, right? So let's just go ahead and start with the head. I'm going to start maybe this far, like not too far actually, maybe about mm, five inches from the end. We're going to do the eye. So let's go ahead and do the eye. Uh, get notifications for you now. Awesome. I did send you a PM the other day. Okay, so if you sent me a PM, now where was that? If uh, Was that on my Facebook, Heather Boyd Wire? Or you could send a message on uh, email, info at heatherboydwire.com. Sometimes I don't always see messages depending on where you sent it. So you can also send it on Instagram at Heather Boyd Wire. If you guys need to contact me directly, uh, those are the three best ways to do it. Uh, Heather Boyd Wire Facebook, info at Heather Boyd Wire email, or Heather Boyd Wire on Instagram. And if I don't get your message, try again, because sometimes uh, they get uh, lost in transit type of things. So now let's go ahead and do a face for the dragons. We're going to do this just very much like I did the previous sample, although I don't want to make it too big because if this is going to be a ring, you really don't want it very big. So let's just go ahead and try to replicate what we did, but do it as a ring. Okay, so we're going to get around here and down there, and then we're going to do the mouth and up, and I'm going to bend it back on itself. So I'll flip it over. Bend it back on itself. And I think I'm going to do more of these videos where I look at old designs and try to remake them because obviously uh, some of this, some of these things I almost don't remember how I made them before, but it's just, you know, when I practice a little bit or if I look really well at the picture, then I can get an idea. So now this is the starting point for our dragon, very similar to this. So let's just go ahead and do this and try to make a ring, but I'm going to forget the arms and the legs because that's going to A, take forever, and B, uh, might not work as a ring. I might, you never know, it might work. And let's go ahead and just start this, and we're going to start our infinity sign thing. So there we go, we're going to go around here. It's either an infinity wrap or a figure eight wrap have to decide what's the best thing to call that wrap and we're just going to go you could also do this like with weaving if you're a if you're a wire weaver you could do a woven band to go as a ring as well you could definitely do that maybe beads would be cool too I think there's a lot of possibilities for that but I just want to stick with this one technique and see what we can do so if we're just going to keep going and if you have a jig like I, I made those jigs where you just put pins in a cork board you can do something like that as well but sometimes it's easier to do things by hand than with the jig so it might actually be easier just to do this by hand so we're just going to keep going back and forth to do this little this little wrap like that and then when we think it's long enough we can try to form it into a ring there we go Instagram. Good idea, Denise. That would be great. If you DM me on Instagram, uh, Heather Boyd Wire. I do have three accounts on Instagram, but I try to check the wire one at least once a day. So, uh, so I can, I can definitely check that. And, um, and you can send me a DM. You guys can send me pictures of your work if you want me to post it on Pinterest or in the community section. And then I also do slideshows uh, with pictures of viewers' work. So you guys have probably already seen those videos. I think I have about 20 slideshows by now because you guys keep submitting the most beautiful work. It's really amazing. And join Discord, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you could DM me on Discord, but I don't always see those. So you better not DM me on Discord because I might actually miss your miss your DMs. So <laughs> 
She just says, white water crafting. Oh, what a cool username. Hello, hello. I love that. That's a great idea. I actually went white water rafting once in my life, uh, but because I wear glasses, it was very inconvenient because I had to take my glasses off and I couldn't really see where, where we were going. So I'm not sure I would do that again. I'm, I'm not so into uh, water sports anyways. So there we go. And Lainey, hello, hello. There we go. So let's just keep going with this infinity kind of wrap thing. They look like little letter L's actually. They look like little cursive L's. And we're just going to keep going till it's at least, you know, big enough to go around the finger once. But you might also want to go around the finger twice. So I might even try to space these out a little more just for the sec you can also stretch it after I mean that's the thing like you could do these and then you could probably like yes you could stretch these after which is really interesting so depending on how close you want these together if you need to stretch it you can and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this wire oh I have to forget not forget to do the ear and because I'm thinking I might have to put that wire underneath to give it some support for the ring but I haven't quite decided because I'm not quite there yet but we're, we're gonna see what we're gonna do with that uh sorry I'm late I brought my baby to the okay yeah yeah that's uh that's okay you can come you can come on late you can watch the replay you can do whatever uh whatever you want you can watch it in fast motion you can watch it in slow motion you can click through I've started putting timestamps on the video so like especially for the for the live streams if you um if you watch a lot, if you watch the replay, I like to have timestamps on there so you can go directly to the project at hand. Because sometimes on the on the uh, live streams, I do like four or five projects, and then it's it's hard for people to like zip through to find the right project. So that's my current my current project is putting timestamps on uh, on the tutorials and, and the videos so you guys can know exactly where to go if there's just one project you want to do in one of the live streams. There we go. Perfect. So we're going to go around there and there and just keep going. I guess you could like kind of try it on your finger to see where you're at with it. I think I'm just going to keep going until I'm almost done the wire and then we're going to... Um, figure out a way to finish it off because I haven't quite gone that far in advance to see how I'm going to finish it off. And um, I might or might not need to have to run that wire behind there or not. We're going to see. And it might not really end up looking like much like a dragon either. So we're, we're going to see. Now it would be nice to have a tool. Ooh, I just thought of a way that we could do this. Hmm. And that was that would be interesting. I was just thinking of a tool that you can do this where you'd have like two pins and you just go back, back and forth. Oh, I'm going to try that after, guys, because if you had two pins and you went back and forth, then you could just stretch it out after. I bet that would work. I like that idea. And uh, I'll try it. I'll try it after this, maybe, but uh, just with a scrap wire, because I think that would really really work like if we take this and um I don't think I have any pins nearby but I'll I'll try that with a cork board and a couple of pins I think we can definitely do something like that and then you just bend it back and forth and then you stretch it out and that would be perfect so uh, I'm all about the gadgets so uh, anything I can figure out to do things quicker it's always handy okay my two bead kitty was a big fail. Oh no, you need better tools. Okay, and I, I thought I'd simplified that tutorial a little bit because the um the original two bead kitty was very complex to make because I had tried to figure out the design on a live stream, and so that's why I remade the tutorial to make it a little bit simpler. But um, like a wig, you know what's pro what's hard with that one is uh, getting the ears centered on the top of the head. That's the hardest part of that cat design for sure. Uh, yeah, Amber has her uh, her doggy appointment thing today every one Wednesday of every month. So that's why Amber's not here. Uh, she did tell me she probably wouldn't be here. So uh, so this is yeah, this is interesting. I'm not sure about this. We're gonna see. So this so far is the dragon. Let's try the ear see what we can do with the ear because we want to bring the ear up 
just to make it look a little dragon-like. And yes, she is, yes. So she did tell me that she probably wouldn't make it, at least not for all of it. So that's fine. She can watch the replay and she can watch it in fast motion. So what I'm thinking though now is because this is very springy, it might actually be better to, um, let me just see. We could do a wire underneath or maybe not. Let me just, because you don't want, I think if we put the wire underneath, it's gonna be really cumbersome. So let me just try it without the wire and then we're gonna see how that goes. So say we just attach the, the head here. Okay, we can just attach the head there and just finish it off. I should have maybe left less wire for the head because we really didn't need much wire at all. So there we go. So the, the ears part, yeah, that those ears are hard to center. I get that. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of practice for the cats. So there's Dragon. It's kind of funky. Uh, and so say we do want to stretch it out a little bit to make it a little bit longer. We're just going to first see, you know, about what size, because I think if we bring it around here, the trouble is it's not going to hold its shape. So we're going to have to, like, attach it in a couple of places, I think. Uh, let me just see what I want to do with this because this is, it's, I think it might end up being a little bit bulky. Uh, and then we want to just bring this one maybe up a bit. Yeah, if it had like, you know what? I think if it had the arm there, it might be interesting. It might hold it in shape, in place. And then this one, mm, yeah, let me, what, let me know what you guys are thinking for this because Maybe like if you did the if maybe it would have been better for me to do the arms on there. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure I'm loving this design so much either. And I was hoping it would maybe go around the finger a couple of times, but maybe not. Like maybe it maybe it's not necessary because we could kind of I think I'm just gonna play with it. I think I'm just gonna attach it maybe here. Okay, just for fun. I'm gonna bring that one around here. So say we attach it. Bring that one up and attach it, say here or something, so that the arm, this head goes out a little bit more. I'm gonna bring it around here. Do a rose, okay. Ears on side just means, oh yeah, kitty, rubber hammer, harden wire. Yes, I could do, you could harden the wire. That's a good idea. Yeah, to hold it in shape. That's definitely a good option. Um, I've just attached it here, so you know what? I think I'm just gonna, maybe keep it really simple for now. So if we just attach it here, I don't know if there's anything else I wanna do with that wire. I'm just gonna clip it for now. I like the idea of hammering it. It would definitely make it harder. Uh, this head, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that because it's kinda like sticking there. Hmm. I think this is a work in progress. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with this. And I'm not sure if I like that for a ring because it might be a little bit bulky. You know what I mean? Like it's it's definitely different. It's definitely interesting. I think there's probably, your brain really needs plastic surgery. That's hilarious. So so yeah, this is, this is called work in progress. Uh, we're not sure where we're going with it. But it's kind of the concept. I kind of like the idea. I like the I like the head sticking up too. But I think, yeah, I think for the ring, it's definitely we're gonna have to just think of some other possibilities and stuff. But this is this is what I got today, guys. So this is uh, yeah, this will be part part one of the ring because I think that we're definitely gonna have to do something different with that in the future. But for now, it's okay. So. You posted a picture on Discord. Okay, perfect. So so we'll hop over after this to the post live stream section of Discord and have a look at Mustafa's uh, dragon. And I'll, I'll take a quick picture of these and post it in the group as well. So that's what we did today, guys. Just these two. I'm going to flip the screen. And I think we're going to stick with that because if I started a new project, it's going to take a long time. So what I'll do is I'll snap a picture. I'm going to hop over to Discord. And Mustafa put the link to Discord if you guys want to hop over there and see uh, see what he made and see what I made. So here's Dragon Pendant. My screen is pixelated, so I can't wait to see a picture. Perfect. So I'll grab a picture and I'm going to put them in the, in the post live stream right now. So there we go. 
dragon ring in progress, and then the, the pendant. So guys, thanks so much for hopping on the live stream. I'll let you know when we're gonna do the uh, Let's Get Wired live stream really soon. And I'm gonna hop over to Discord now. So thanks for all your great suggestions. Be sure to keep sharing your beautiful work in the Wiremakers Club. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.